welcome back everyone today's gonna show you how to get a custom discord status so there's gonna be a link in the description called premid.app slash downloads i want you to download the application depending on what os you're using so for example i am using windows so you're gonna press on windows it's gonna take about five seconds for you to start the download because they want money because they want to show you ads that are stupid you're gonna press skip you're gonna go to your desktop and save the installer.exe you're gonna scroll down you're gonna press on the opera now, if you're running Chrome or any Chromium-based browsers, press Opera. If you're running Firefox, which I don't know why the hell you're running Firefox in 2021, but I won't judge you. You want to press on that one, or if you're using Safari, if you're on Mac, press that one. But we're on Opera, so we're going to press this button. Press OK. Another five seconds time wasted of your life. Jesus Christ, it's just like YouTube ads. And it's going to take you to the Chrome Web Store. You're going to press on Add to Opera. You're going to press Add Extension. It's going to add up here depending on what browser you're using. I'm going to pin it so it's automatically there. Go back to the downloads page. And now there's going to be already default ones installed. So using this application, you can show multiple things of what you're doing. So you can show what Netflix show you're watching, what episode, what time. Or if you're listening to SoundCloud, you can show that. Or if you're watching Twitch or you're watching YouTube, it's not just limited to the custom status. So for example, I'm going to turn all these off though because I do not want any of these on. And there's going to be another link in the description for the custom status download. And I have to reload the page because I just downloaded it. So we're going to press on the add button. And once that is added, you're not going to go back to this right now. You're going to go back to your desktop and press on the installer.exe file. And when that loads, you're going to press next. Press I accept the agreement or I do not accept the agreement. If you do not accept the agreement, click off the video. I'm totally joking. Press next. It's going to connect to a remote server so it might take a little bit of time to download depending on your internet speed the one thing is extracting the comp the compressed file from the remote server takes a little bit of time so just depending on it doesn't even matter if you have good internet it takes a little bit of time so it's going to create the uninstaller because i'm going to show you how to uninstall this software after i show you how to set up the custom status whoa and create desktop icon don't click that um, the launch app, you're going to keep that clicked, but unclick open the store. You're going to press next and whoop de doo It is now download. Delete that ugly installer.exe file. Go back to the Opera browser, or whatever browser you're using. We already installed the custom status. So there's going to be a third link in the description where you can enter everything you want for your custom status. So I'm going to have to reload the page though because this will not work by itself. As you can see, it says praying playing pre-mid i cannot speak to save my life so exit out these ones so for example this is going to be the upper text so fuck you they say fuck you now the software is kind of buggy so it takes a little bit of time to register but if it isn't showing up properly go down to your taskbar and press on quit and then go back to here go to pre-mid open up pre-mid it already is running which is good and now it's showing see technology horrible i hate it okay i'm gonna write fuck you for example that's gonna be the top text lower text is under the top top text no shit i don't know why i just said that uh no shit okay then you can have the large image or the small image so for example there's a lot of different um, sort of images you can use now this is not like um, what is that one word that I'm looking for there's many different kinds of things you can do to have a custom status you can't set your own image on this but there's still some cool little images so for example I'm gonna use a heart because I like hearts that sounds so weird and I'm gonna use the search icon because I'm searching for love and I'll never find it in my life small image text so this is gonna show right here so for example they hover over this this is gonna be basically what the presence is and if you hover over the little search icon, you see nothing. But for example, I want to see something under there searching for love. Now, if I hover over, if anyone hovers over it, it will now say what you want it to say. Now, buttons. This is complicated because you cannot use your own buttons. Now, it will show up on here, but you cannot click them. Only someone that is looking at your profile can click them. So for example, we're going to say a uh, cool website. And you can you have to start off with HTTPS. If not, it will not work or register. So we're gonna do YouTube.com. Um, we're gonna do visit. I can't spell visit nuts. 
uh, HTTPS slash slash porn <laughs> porn hub. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have to put this video for not not for kids, not safe for kids, everyone. And if you want to show the time, um, show the time. So for example, we're gonna do. Let's see. We'll just we'll just do some random time like 5 a.m. Or or it won't work. So see, as you can see, the buttons are there, but you cannot click them. So let me pull up Discord Canary. And if I go to my profile and press on cool website, I will now be able to go to this website. If I press yes, it will take me to youtube.com. I'm not going to click you up on this link because I do not want to get striked. We're just going to press cancel and we're going to minimize this. But that's basically how you get a custom status on Discord. For example, we're gonna, we'll do one more little example just, just to get it started. So we're going to go here, click on this. We're going to press the store button. And say, for example, I want to use Google. Google is what I want everyone to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to press add. And it might take a little bit of time to register. So that is added. So if I look up um, dog pics, um, I don't know why you'd be looking up dog pics for some reason. But, you know, you do you guys. You do you. If you reload the page. Like I said, the software takes a little bit of time to register. So just give it. Get it. Give it a, a bit of time, I guess. And of course, I can't look it up on the search. Um, pre mid open. Please work. This video is taking forever. Let's go back. And as you can see, it's still stuck on that. But I promise you, it will show Google and show what you're searching. So if you want to uninstall this software from your computer and you think it's a virus, which you know what? Go ahead. I'll definitely leave the virus total link in the description below. You're going to want to press on the windows key you're going to press apps and remove or add or remove programs and you want to type in pre mid okay or just type in pre whatever you want press uninstall it's going to take 50 years to open up the uninstaller because that's everything for you or you know what it's not even going to open up the uninstaller this video is so unprofessional right now because the software does not want to work but if you just press the uninstall button i promise you I promise you it will it will work so do you want to uninstall pre in and all of its mop I can't speak right now I can't speak yes I do okay that was such ear rape uh, press ok and now it's gone and if you want to remove it from your browser go to your browser right click on it and press remove extension press remove and it's gonna tell you blah 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 it's gonna it's gonna send you to their website and be like download it again press the X and it's gone everything is gone it's deleted from your system so that's basically it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed me showing you how to get a custom discord status i know it was a long video and there's a lot of errors in here thanks to this software not wanting to work i don't even know why it's still yet yeah, there it is you better go you guys see that in the tab? It, it was in the taskbar still open no 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 i deleted you but that's basically it i'll see you guys in the next video peace